Good evening, Malcolm. It's Dr. Burke. What's happening? I need you to come into the office as soon as possible. I have your test results, and they're not good. June 25th, 2005, entry one. My dad is, is dead, and I don't know what to do. When dad died, money dried up, and we lost the house. Mom had wanted that house so bad. Now it's gone and we had to move to the inner city. Now it's just the three of us. And I feel so alone. Curtis, get up. I want this clean when you get home. And if you don't get up in two minutes, your breakfast is gone. Uh, all right, all right, all right, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, and don't forget I have class tonight. Okay. Omar. Hey, little bro. How are things going? Good. Mom's even pushy though. Nothing new there. She's just anxious about your first day. Yeah, I know. You ready? I guess so. I wish Dad was here. Yeah, me too, bro. Things would be a lot easier. But listen, you're the man of the house while I'm away. Don't worry about the new school. You got this. I guess so. So, how's the Navy? I worked on a Harrier jet yesterday. You worked on a Harrier jet? I've only seen those on TV. Yeah, if you stand too close when it takes off, the thrust will knock you on your backside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gotta get going. I don't want you to be late for school. Okay. Omar, I miss you, man. I miss you too, bro. Put mom on the phone. Okay. Ma, Omar's on the phone for you. Okay, got it. Your food is in the oven. Cool. Entry 1102, Tuesday, September 9th, 2008. Maybe today won't be so bad after all. Right up here. Oh yeah? Is that why you want a two-year plan for ninth grade? 
Yo, why you disrespecting me? Ain't nobody disrespecting you. And watch your voice. You need to focus and leave the other students alone. You know, if you actually apply yourself, you might be surprised at what you're capable of. Now get to class before I give you detention. Man, you think just because he's bigger than me, he can tell me what to do? I'm a father. Impressive. I rarely see grades like these. Your parents must be very proud of you. Yes. I see that you took biology and chemistry while still in middle school. Yeah, I, I really like science. Mr. Grabowski takes his physics class very seriously. Students try to avoid him if they can. Are you sure you're up for the challenge? I can do it. Good. I'm here if you have any issues and if you need extra help. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Hey, you with the glasses and the messed up clothes. <laughs> you hear me talking to you? I'm late for class. Oh yeah, you're gonna be late. Real late if you keep walking away. Hi, I'm Curtis. What's your name? Are you serious? You don't need to know my name, Smurtis. No, no, it's Curtis. Yeah, well, I like Smurtis better. Look, I don't want any trouble. Yeah, well, you got some. Hey! What you gonna do? What you gonna do now? Smurtis? What are you doing over here, Trey Sean? I told you about calling me that. And I told you to stop bothering people. I'm not bothering him. I'm just talking to my friend Smurtis. Are you all right, Smurtis? Yeah, I just want to go to class. All right, well, you better get going, son. The second bell already rung. Okay. You're in my world now. Introduction to physics. My name is Mr. Grabowski. You may call me Mr. G. Most of you don't want to be here. Some of you will drop out. Others will fail. Those of you who see it through to the end will be better for it. But I have no time for mischief in this class. Some of the experiments will be dangerous if you don't pay attention. Now, having said all that, something else I want to tell you. Physics is cool! It's great stuff. Everything you do is physics. Walking is physics. Picking up something is physics. Playing a sport is physics. Throwing a ball is physics. Everything is physics. As soon as you start understanding the logic and all the theorems involved in it, you'll start seeing the beauty that is physics. Now, who can tell me what is physics? Ah, uh, how could I forget Curtis Powers? Here you're something of a science whiz kid. What is physics? Um, physics is the science of matter, energy, force, and motion. Good, but don't get cocky about it. I talked to Mrs. Fulner about your being in this class. I have to tell you I was against it. Why? I took biology and chemistry. Your love for science is admirable, but... I don't want my hopes to be crushed because you crumble under the workload. I'm not gonna baby you just because you're younger. I'm not asking you to. I can do this. All right. Your challenge has been accepted. I hope you're in this race to win it. I am, sir. Uh, you want to come back here during your lunch period? I have some work that you uh, might be able to help me with. Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. Good. Bye, Mr. G.
to the school, you ain't out running me. And I seen them books, you ain't better than me. I didn't say I was better than you. This is my school. I was at your school. We're both in ninth grade. Did you yell at back? Pretty bold for a skinny dude. No. Keep talking smart. Trayshawn, leave him alone. Every day I see you in my school, you pay me ten dollars. Ten dollars? And every day you don't, my fist is going to your jaw. I'm impressed. People don't usually stand up to him like that. You know, he did get left back. Really? How am I going to come up with ten dollars a day? Well, he did say every day he sees you. The school's a pretty big place. I'm Kelly, by the way. Curtis, <laughs> you ninth grade too? Yep. Uh, well, thanks for helping me. No problem. You seem like a nice guy. I don't like it when he does that to people. So, uh, how do you know him? Unfortunately, we live on the same block. All right, well, he's pretty fast. Yeah, last year he made the varsity track team. As a freshman? But he got kicked off. Bad attitude. Wow. First day. And the fastest kid in school was chasing me. Well, his home life's rough. But it's not a reason to act crazy. Yeah, well, I know about family drama. But I'm probably going to need a bodyguard. You wouldn't happen to have a brother by any chance, would you? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have two. All right. Have you ever thought of wearing contacts? You have nice eyes. Oh, um, I mean, maybe I'll... Try them someday, possibly. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to walk home? Um, sure. Okay. Lead the way. Omar. Hey, little bro. How was your first week? Uh, it was... it was good. Uh, how are things with you? Not so fast. What? What me? You hesitated. There's this bully at school and he beat me up and took my money. Some punk's beating you up and taking your money? Did you tell mom about this? Are you crazy? If I tell mom, that she'll go up to the school, get Treshawn in trouble, and then make everything worse. Okay, but you can't let him beat you up or take your money. Dad would know what to do. Yeah, but Dad's not here, so we gotta make things work without him. <laughs> Listen, little bro. Even though we gotta make things work without him, that doesn't mean we forget all the lessons that he taught us. Yeah. Bullies, they intimidate to cover their own weaknesses. He's bigger than you? So reason with him. If that doesn't work, then I'll smart him. But don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Don't be stupid either. If nothing else works, then I'll deal with him. You're coming home? When? Thanksgiving. It was gonna be a surprise. Two months is a long time, man. It'll fly by. Just focus on school, and don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Right. Stand up for myself, don't be stupid. Been a few weeks, Swiss. Hey. <laughs> Where you been hiding? And you're three dollars short. Look, about that. I'm out of money. Maybe I can help you with your homework or something. Do I look like I need help? There's nothing wrong with asking for help. I ain't asking. Well, since I'm generous, how about I let you do my homework for me and you could pay me five dollars instead of ten dollars? You're crazy, okay? I have my own homework to do. And see either that or you catch a beat down for not having my money. And since you're so smart, I'll let you choose. Trayshawn, I know you're not bothering Curtis. Nah, Curtis.
Curtis here was just offering to do my homework for me. We can finish up later. So your idea worked? No. He doesn't want help. He wants me to do his homework. Okay. Forget reasoning. You need to talk to my brothers. Come over after school and by Monday you'll be worry free. You sure? Plus they're not to be sure about. So you finally made it. Yep. Oh wow, I didn't know you could dance. You didn't ask. But I don't really tell a lot of people about it. Why not? Well, a lot of my friends don't really like ballet. But enough about me. You ready? Yeah. Okay. He's here! So, hey. So. Kelly, this is your boy, Curtis. Yep, um, Curtis, these are my brothers, Calvin and Kevin. Hey, so uh, Kelly tells us you're having problems with Trayshawn? Yeah, uh, he beat me up and took my money. $17 so far. Well, if you're a friend of Kelly's, then we're your friends. My grandma could play better than you, man. Oh, man. What's up, Double K's? You understand you got a problem with one of our friends? Me? Nah, I ain't got a problem with nobody. Oh, so Curtis Powers is nobody. Yo, you got it all wrong. So now you calling this lies? Nah, nah, I'm just saying, you got this all wrong. Oh, so now you calling us ignorant. No, but I ain't calling you guys ignorant. It's ignorant. You need to work on your grandma. We're only gonna say this once. Stay away from Curtis, and we won't have issues. Bother him again, and you ain't gonna like what's gonna happen. You understand that? Yeah, I got it. We can't hear you. I said, yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Give Curtis back his money. Baby, look, I'm trying to give some oomph to the living room. What do you think? Uh, uh, if? Why if? It, it's, uh, I don't like it. No? No. I it's, like it. I mean, you got the military green. I mean, Omar. Omar might like it. I mean, his room is pink. He's you know, complaining about uh, that. Fine. You don't like it. <laughs> you don't like it. Fine. Oh, um, by the way, Mom? Yes, boy. Uh, when we go shopping, do you think we could uh, pick up some new sneakers for me? I mean, these awesome sneakers that we have. Looking How much are they? Uh, $150. Who? Uh, $150. $150? Maybe we don't have that kind of money for sneakers. And I don't want you getting robbed because of that. Look, when we go on our shopping trip, we can go right down the street and get you a perfectly good pair of sneakers. Oh no, not from that store. Everybody knows that those are just the cheap knockoffs of the originals. 
So if everybody was jumping off of a bridge, you'd jump too. Why do you always use that line? Because it works. And baby, you're smarter than that. But mom, you make fun of the way I dress. One day, you are going to be so well off, you're not even going to care about the name inside your clothing. Look at me. Use their laughter to fuel your greatness, okay? Yes? But, but Mom, I'll do more chores. I'll do anything. Just please. Okay. If you can answer yes to my questions, I will buy you these ridiculously expensive pair of sneakers. <laughs> okay, let's go. Do these $150 sneakers make you run faster? No. Do said $150 sneakers make you jump higher? No. No. Then why spend $150 on a pair of sneakers that probably cost $12 to make at a sweatshop? Baby, it's all fashion and no function. Yeah, I guess. Look, I know it's not easy being a new kid. God will see you through. I mean, he's done all right by us so far, right? Plus, my baby's so smart, he could probably go and make a pair of sneakers that was worth $150. Entry 1135, Saturday, October 4th, 2008. New science project. Mom's idea just might work. I could build a better sneaker to outrun Treshawn. But how? Okay, well, step one, ask question. Step two, construct hypothesis. Step three, test hypothesis. Step four, analyze data. And step five, communicate results. The question is, how can I build a sneaker that makes me run faster? Hmm. Mr. G talked about momentum and kinetic energy the other day. Said kangaroos do a good job using theirs. A kangaroo has strong muscles and long tendons. They could store and redistribute a lot of energy, making them really fast. Mom says I get it from you. And this is true. This is so true. You know, but there's a, a scientific principle that states energy is never destroyed, only transformed. So if my body and my consciousness is made of energy, what happens to that energy when I die? Does it exist in some new form? Or do I have to give an account for my life? See, this cancer has forced me to wrestle with these questions. And I found my best answers in the Bible. Well, I never thought about it like that. You remember that summer you got caught in that storm? the same with God, and church is part of that path. So, that answers your question. Think about this. Just think about this. God gave you a mind. Why don't you use it? Don't allow the devil to bully you into a corner where you feel like you have no other options 
you have no means of escape. God will show you how. He will show you how to run and not get weary. He will show you how. The day will come, circumstances will arise when we must face the things in life that intimidate us. Expect God to reveal to you what you must do to outrun, to overcome the enemies, and there are enemies in this life that try to overtake you. And then do what he says. He says he will renew your strength. He will cause you to run and to leap and to soar on wings like those of an eagle. That is why he is God. That is why you need him. That is why you need to trust him. And he will bring you out. I felt like Pastor was talking right to me, but how could he know what was going on in my head? Well, what was your conclusion? Maybe he's psychic. Kurt. <laughs> I definitely didn't expect that answer. I'm just trying to keep an open mind. Well, listen, since your mind is so open, Maybe God was talking to you through pastor. Hmm? Come on, babe. Okay, so pastor's not psychic, but maybe God is trying to tell me to keep going. To prepare me for the inevitable. Yellow? Figured I'd call. We haven't hung out in like a month. Sorry, I've been working on a project. A project? What project? Well, it's top secret. You're not building a bomb, are you? What? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Gotta ask nowadays. People are crazy. Not me, okay? I'm just trying to build a way to run faster. See, I told you you couldn't keep a secret. It's better than you think I'm gonna blow up on somebody. But you still can't tell anyone, though. But why do you want to run faster anyway? Is this about Treshawn? No, I've just always wanted to run fast. It's kind of been a dream of mine. But if my invention works, it'll be really cool. Curtis, I need to talk to you. Oh boy. Hey, it's my mom. Gotta go. Okay, see you Monday. All right, bye. Yes, mom? So I'm kind of concerned about this secret project you have going on. You're not doing anything crazy, are you? Kelly said the same thing. At least it's not just me. And when are you inviting her over for dinner? Why, so you can both interrogate me? Nope. So we can talk about the big crush you have on her. <laughs> Ma, I, I do not have a crush on Kelly. <laughs> you talk about her enough. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what are you working on? OK, you can't tell anyone. I promise. you're there to help out in the lab and that keeps you out of trouble. I'm proud of you. And I'm glad you still listen to your mother. <laughs> well, Mr. Inventor, I'm gonna go invent the rest of dinner and I can't wait to meet Kelly. Yeah. I guess I like her a little. Mm -hmm. Mama, no. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> so, what's your family doing for Thanksgiving, Curtis? Well, my brother's coming home, so my mom's probably going to cook a big meal or something. What about you? I was thinking, you could come over to my house for dinner. If your mother agrees, of course. 
I'm sure she would. She really wants to meet you. I have a big house and nobody to share it with. We could split the dishes. My daughter always thought I was a good cook. Your daughter isn't coming? It's too far for her to travel. But families are supposed to be together for Thanksgiving. It's like Christmas, but without the presents. Things are a little different for us. I wish you could have met my dad. If he was anything like you, I think I would have enjoyed it. Oh, welcome. So glad you hey, could come. Come on in. <laughs> Thanks so much for inviting us over for Thanksgiving dinner, Mr. Grabowski. Oh, you're welcome, but please call me Jim, Mrs. Powers. Miranda. Well, Miranda, it's nice to have company for a change. Yeah, my husband Malcolm just makes such a big deal out of holiday celebrations. If you don't mind, how did he die? Aggressive bone cancer. Doctors gave him six months to live. It lasted a year and a half. My wife, Carol, died of cancer ten years ago. Doctor said a year. She lasted three months. I don't think my daughter and I ever fully recovered. My daughter, Catherine. Lives in Cincinnati with her husband and daughter, both of whom I've never met. We don't talk much. I never knew what to say after. I'm sorry. We're supposed to be here to celebrate, and I'm talking about my problems. No, it's okay. I needed to hear your story. Help me with my own issues. What's taking them so long? They're probably talking about us. But what about, what's his name? Trey Sean. Kelly's brother's told him to lay off, but I don't know how long he'll listen. You want me to talk to him? <laughs> you know I'd love to talk to him. Only if nothing else works. My son Curtis seems to have taken a really big liking to you. Curtis has me excited about life again. How so? I've been teaching physics for 30 years. You get all caught up in all the problems. Lost resources, uncaring parents, and media hype that promotes stardom instead of intellect. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot different than when we were in school. Right? Yeah. Sometimes I meet students with potential. I've never met a ninth grader who qualified for physics. <laughs> oh, Curtis has an innate curiosity about how things work. He gets that from his father. It's a good trait. If Curtis could learn to channel that correctly, he could go very far. So you got a plan? I want to build running boots to increase my speed. Treshawn's fast, but if I could outrun him, Maybe, maybe he'll lay off. An invention. If it works and you make him look bad, he might come after you more. I, I, I gotta do something. He already beat me up after Kelly's brothers told him not to. Did what? How come you didn't tell me? He said if I told anyone, I'd be sorry. I just wanted him to stop. Okay. We'll try your way and see what happens. I hope I don't have to hurt this kid. And I hope you don't either. He has a lot of issues at home. Don't we all? Maybe I should pray for him. Pray. I didn't think about that. Your boys must be hungry. Do you need any help with this? No. Miranda, you're a guest. Just go inside and enjoy, relax. Okay. I'll be there in a moment.
Curtis, the family made Thanksgiving a day to remember. Thanks. Uh, we had fun. You have a really nice house. I need some work. What do you have there? It's a project I'm working on. Right, a project. What am I... Can, can I believe what I'm reading? They're called kinetic redistribution boots. KRBs for short. Omar drew the design. It looks like a very compact design. What, what made you think of this? Well, I've always wanted to run fast, but there's this bully named Treshawn and... Treshawn... Treshawn Jenkins? Why didn't you tell me about this before? Because the situation's been handled already. A friend of mine told her brother to tell him to lay off. Did you tell your mother? What can she do? Omar, Kelly, and her brothers know already, and so do you. So in response, you designed these boots? Can you help me build them? If Treshawn can't catch me, then maybe he'll just leave me alone. I can help you, but only if first we tell everything to the principal. If she agrees, then we'll do it. If not, we'll find something else. That way we're both covered. This is very unorthodox. I could just expel him. I don't know, Jacqueline. You know he's sort of a loose cannon. If we take any direct action, you might take it out on Curtis. I do see your point, Jim. Lord knows we can't afford another serious altercation. No. I'm going to allow this alternative. Quite frankly, I'm interested in seeing if these boots of yours will work. Keep me informed on all major developments. Absolutely. And if we have to take tougher action, we will. All right. You can help with some housework, and then you can use my workshop to build the boots. Should only take a few weeks. We can start this Saturday if your mom's all right with that. Trying to burn a hole in the floor? Well, what if she does like me? Then she'd be my first girlfriend. Don't worry about that yet. Just focus on tonight and let Ma do most of the talking. Whew. Here we go. Hey, Kelly. Come Hi. on in. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I can't wait to meet your mom. I can't wait to meet you either. <laughs> now, Curtis has talked about you so much, we are far beyond handshakes, young lady. <laughs> How are you? Good. It's nice to finally meet you, Miss Nice Thomas. to meet you, too, Kelly. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year. I hope you brought your appetite. I did. Do you need any help in the kitchen? Um, yeah, sure. Boys, set the table, please. Come, sweetie. Okay. I think it's obvious. She likes you. How do you know? Trust me. I know. I'm just a skinny twig. Hey, you're a powers man. When you lack a physique, you make up for an intellect. She's looking for Mr. Wright. And you think I'm him? Seems that way. So what do I do? Women want a guy who's genuine. Don't try to be anyone else, but but you. Okay. I 
here you uh, have been hanging out with my boy. Good lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you over. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks again for everything. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Curtis, walk your girl Kelly mm -hmm. to the door. Smurtis. I'm sorry. What happened to your eye? Uh, you think because I ain't beating you up, you just talk to me like that? Like what? Dude, your eye is swollen. You ain't on my level to be asking me questions. You can't hide behind Kelly's brother's feather. Curtis, what happened? Trayshawn happened. Wait till I tell my brothers. No, don't. Somebody beat him up. His mom's boyfriend's not a nice guy. Maybe they wanted to fight? He said your brothers won't be around forever. I gotta get these boots done. What's outrunning Trayshawn gonna do? You need to be able to face him. And get my teeth kicked in? No thanks. Omar said to use my mind first. Easy for him to say? Well, he did say if nothing else worked, then he would talk to Trayshawn himself. <laughs> That'd be one good conversation. I'm glad you can be so cool about this. I don't like seeing you hurt. I don't like being hurt. You know, you're funny, Curtis. And you're beautiful. Mm. What I meant... Let me rephrase that. Um, what I meant to say was, I think you're funny too. Really? I think I like what you said better before. Can you say it again? <sighs> you are so beautiful. I say I'm cute all the time, but when you say it, it means something, because I know you're not like them. You've got bigger things on your mind. I like that. My brothers left for their college visit this morning. You think Trayshawn's gonna start something? I'm not sure, but I've got a really, really bad feeling. Yo, Hakeem, look who it is. Oh, no. <laughs> There it is. Your boy Smurtis. So Smurtis? Must be my lucky day. His name's oh. Curtis, Trayshawn. Chill, Kelly. Ain't no need to act all big. I know your brothers taught you how to fight. Remember that scar I gave you back in the sixth grade? Yeah, you ain't got the reminder, brother. But you know what I do see? What? Your boy Smurtis, all alone. Your brothers left this morning, right? You know what they said, Trayshawn. I know what they said. That means I got to choose. Hmm. Either listen when they're gone, uh -uh. or have my fun and deal with the consequences uh -uh. later. What do you think I should do, Smurtis? Leave him alone, Trayshawn. Ain't nobody talking to you, Kelly. Well, you're talking to me now. Why are you defending your boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. What are you seeing him anyway? He's just a twig with glasses. He probably peeing his pants right now. <laughs> Say something else, see what happens. You better back up. It's been a long time since the sixth grade. Don't ever hit Kelly Ooh. again. Did you just do what I think you did? Yo, let me out of sight. Yo, chill, Hakeem. Hakeem, chill. I got this. So you want to be a man now, huh? It's good to see you got some fight in you. So you think you can take me? That's enough. Get off me. Get off. Why are you not grabbing him? Did you not see him clock me in my jaw? Yeah, after you pushed the girl down. Yeah, he started with me. Look, Tayshawn, I'm about tired of you. And now it's time to take a trip to detention. What? Look, I know you didn't start this, but you need to come with me too. This ain't no Miss Murtis. We just beginning. You made a big mistake, Trayshawn. Wait till my brothers get back. I ain't scared of your brothers. I'll deal with them when I see them. See if you're talking big next week. I'll be talking big. You just watch. Shut your mouth, Trayshawn. I wouldn't worry about Trayshawn. I wouldn't want to be him when my brothers get home. 
if I survived that long. What are you talking about? You actually just punched Treshawn in the jaw. Uh, <laughs> Did you see his face? I am so dead. Even if he gets expelled, he'll find me. A minute ago, you were ready to fight. I thought you were hurt! You're scared. I get that. But keep standing. If he comes for you after school, at least you'll have your boots. <laughs> Mr. G, did you bring the boots with you? They're locked behind my desk. That wasn't you they were talking about this morning, was it? I overheard my students saying somebody was gonna get jumped after school. They're talking about me. All right, don't panic. Meet me here right after last period. Are you sure about this? I could give you a ride home. It won't help in the long run. This is all I've got. All right, the principal filled us in. I have security on standby, just in case things get ugly. Okay, nice to know I have backup. <sighs> Nurses are on standby too. Hopefully we won't need them. You're the one that told me to face him? He could hurt you. Just let security handle this. You know you're beautiful, right? You said that already. God, it's now or never. Speed suit. Dreams, run your dreams, run your dreams. Speed through power. Run your dreams, run your dreams, run your dreams, run your dreams. Who you running from? Where you running to? Will you go back? What you gonna do? When opposition comes, will you stand and fight? Will you use your mind to rise and see the light? I know what gets hard, but push turns to shove it. Gotta Stop make a it. move right now. Or think of something. Problems coming through like rain clouds. Through the streets I be rushing. I've seen the end of the maze now. I'm not running from nothing. Stop right now. Sean, get out! I'm not running from nothing. I'm not He's not gonna make it. No! no. <laughs> Trishan, are you all right? Get off me! They don't think you're some kind of hero. I didn't need saving. Run your dreams. Run your dreams. Run your dreams. Get your hands off me, Melvin! You ain't my father! Listen, I will knock your teeth in the back of your throat, all right? Everybody knows, okay, that your father don't want you, boy! All right, so go in the room and stay out of grown folk business. I don't know why my mom's put up with your dumb self! What you say, boy? Somebody got to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Trace, I don't leave the room for five minutes and you here starting trouble. I ain't do nothing to him, Ma! Look at what he did to me! Oh, maybe you had it coming, okay? How you taking his side, Ma? Everything is not about you. I am the one who almost had a singing career until your daddy stole it from me. And you just like him, trying to get between me and my happiness. How many times you gonna tell me that? It wasn't my fault! Boy, you need to lower your voice. Ain't nobody talking, you Smelvin. Boy, I can't even take a hit. Shut up! Go ahead and run like your daddy. He got what he deserved and so did you.
come back here again. Don't ever come back here again. Why didn't he want me? Treshawn? Leave me alone. Are you alright? What happened to your eye, man? I said leave me alone! What you doing here anyway? Buddy, I live over here. I didn't know I ran this far. Did you get in a fight? You would love to see that, wouldn't you? Seeing me get my behind beat. No, I wouldn't. I don't get you. I beat you up. I take your money. I make you look bad. Then you save my life. And now you're trying to be friends? You're like the dumbest smart kid I ever met. Look, I've got homework to do. So do you want to talk or not? I'm just saying, if somebody was kicking my behind every day, I would like to see them get what they deserve. What if you don't deserve what's coming to you? What you mean? I know about your mom and her boyfriend. What happened to your dad? Locked up. He's definitely getting what he deserves. And my mom hates me. She says it's my fault he took her dream away. It's not like you chose to be here. Exactly, that's what I say. She says, and she says she wish I was never born. How do you say that? How does a mother say that to her own kid? I don't know. My dad had a meeting with some big people. She got pregnant. He said get an abortion. She kept me. He dropped her. Just like that. She said if she would listen to him, she'd be rich and famous. Now she just stuck with me in a welfare check. You can't take someone's dream away. They have to give up on it. Sounds like your mom gave up a long time ago, and now she's using you as an excuse. Maybe underneath, she's afraid. But she needs to make a choice, just like you. What you mean me? You've had it tough your whole life. But now, you could choose. Either do nothing or act crazy, but if so, then you're just gonna deserve every bad thing that comes your way. So what you saying is where I'm at is my fault because of my choices. What I'm saying is you have a choice. Either be a victim or do something positive. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're from the burbs. At least your dad is alive, man. You don't know my life. I got a lot weighing down on me. But I know what kind of life you could have. All I know is how to run the streets. You're one of the fastest guys in school. What about track? I just did that to make a name for myself. Until they started giving me problems all the time. So I quit. I heard you got kicked out. <laughs> quit, kicked out. Same difference. All right, forget about track. What else do you like to do? I like to draw. My drawings look like stick figures. I got some tags on the side of some buildings around here. The guys from my block say it's hot. You could be a graphic artist or an illustrator or something. You mean like draw comics and stuff? Well, yeah, but you could do other stuff too, but I prefer comics myself. You like comics? Yeah, like Icon and Static. Wait, wait. You like Milestone comics? I get down with all that stuff. Yeah, man, I like some DC and Marvel stuff too. Yeah, those are cool, but I take a black superhero any day. <laughs> all right, you know what? Let's make a deal. You teach me how to draw, and I'll help you with school. School stuff again. I can't get with that. If you can read a comic book, you can read anything. They use some big words in there too. Yeah, and sometimes I gotta use the dictionary. I'll teach you some studying techniques. I still don't get you. Why are you trying to help me? Why not? Alright. But you can't tell anybody you tutor me. My friends might not get me. 
Yeah, I know how tough it is to fit in. About that, uh, beating you up and, and all of that, I'm sorry. It's all behind us. I'm still gonna call you Smurdis. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it by now. But uh, Kevin and Kelvin, they'll be they'll be back in a couple of days. Yeah, I really messed up. I've known Kelly since I was like in the third grade. But whatever happens, happens. I mean, I could talk to her brothers. You ain't gotta do that. But if you do, I'm gonna stop you. <laughs> So since we're cool now, I gotta know, how did you outrun me? Come over to my house for dinner and I'll tell you. You're kidding, right? I'm serious. Just like that? Yep, Treshawn is coming over for dinner. Dinner? You guys are like friends now? I don't believe it. Well, not friends, more like associates, but we're working towards friends. Okay, well, whatever you guys are, Treshawn's gonna catch a serious beatdown when my brothers get back. Even if we tell them not to? No, they're not gonna let that go. Ah! You know you lost your mind. Thought you was gonna get away after hitting our sister? Ah! Then you go after Curtis? Ah! I'm sorry. Well, you sorry, all right? Do you know what we can do to you? How easy it would be? All right, guys, I think he's learned his lesson. Nah, Kelly, how do you know he's learned his lesson? Have you learned your lesson, Treshawn? We can't hear you. Yes! I learned my lesson. All right, guys, cut it out. We'll tell you when we're done, Kelly. Come on, he only pushed me down. Treshawn need to learn his lesson. Guys, guys, lesson learned, okay? He's had enough. I'm not trying to make excuses, but you know how his home life is. If Curtis is friends with him, then give him another chance. Is it true, Curtis? We had a hard time believing him when Kelly told us. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We're cool. You break our trust again, and watch what happens. Thanks, guys. I got this. You need help. Getting your brothers to back off is help enough. I got this. Just go. Go. <sighs> Treshawn, you're the second person that Curtis has had over here for dinner. When did you two meet? Um, we met at the beginning of school. First day. You never mentioned Treshawn before. Uh, well, we saw each other around, but we just recently became friends. Yeah. Hmm. So, Treshawn, what are you trying to do with your life? I'm thinking of becoming an illustrator. Nice, so you draw. Ma, he could really draw. Nice. I do all right. Hey, everybody. Omar. Mwah. You guys started eating without me? There's more than enough for you. This is Trey Sean. Huh. Uh, you are tall. I'm taller than, than what I thought you were uh, going to be. <laughs> <laughs> if your eyes get any bigger, they're going to pop out of your head. <laughs> oh, I heard a lot about you. They're new friends. Yeah? It's good to know that Curtis has people looking out for him. Keeps me from coming to the school. You know how some folks could be. Uh, yeah. Uh, some people are dumb. <laughs> Omar. Why don't I go fix you a plate? Thanks, Ma. Curtis, help me take my bag to the room. Uh, sure thing.
Are you two really friends? Or did you just say that for mom? No, we're friends. Well, associates, but we're working towards friends. Hmm. See? You use your mind. <laughs> Things work out. Tell mom I'm coming. I just want to change out of my uniform. Okay. Trayshawn, you wanted to use the bathroom. It's right at the end of the hall. Thank you. Make it live. Man, I don't ever think I could do something like this. I had help. Uh, they built my shoe size. But your drawing skills can use some work. I can see what I want in my head, but when I draw it, it comes out like that. Mm, well, can you rotate the images in your head? You can do that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it takes some practicing, but I can show you how. Did you take some kind of class to learn how to do that? <laughs> nah, I just practice on my own. And so it's kind of been like something I could do. Do you guys want dessert? Sure. Uh, hey, Omar? Those scars on your back. What happened? So you were at my door. Life is full of choices. Who cares what you need, Ma? What about what I need? Oh my, your father is sick. I know. I'm at the doctor's with him while you are at work. I'm, I'm out of here. Wait! So that's it? You're just gonna run? You're just gonna walk out? Why not, Ma? It's better than going to church to worship a God who's letting Dad die. People think I'm so strong, but seeing Dad waste away like that? Omar, we talked about this. I'm not mad at God. Well, maybe you should be. I used to be, but the doctors can't help. Doesn't make any sense being mad at the world. Son, you better than this. I wish cancer didn't exist. Omar! Omar! I wasn't even there when he died at the hospital. Mom and Curtis were there. So after the funeral, I kept running. Until I couldn't run anymore. That night, everything changed. But God spared me. And after that, the door opened for me to join the Navy. And how you choose is going to determine how you end up. Whether it's like the bullet wounds on my back, or like Curtis's boots over there. understand that Curtis has been helping with your schoolwork. He asked me to meet with you. Please, read this out loud. It's a poem from an author I like. Although his writings are not prolific, they are sagacious for a person his age. Those are two words I don't know. It takes a smart young man to do what you just did. What'd I just do? Most students won't admit what they don't know. What you just did tells me you're teachable. Are you teachable, Treshawn? I want to be. Write down what I'm about to tell you. Do you know how to spell prolific? <laughs> P-R-O-L-I-F-I-C. Prolific. It means to have a lot of, an abundance. Got it. Good. Sagacious. S-A-G-A-C-I-O-U-S. 
this word means to have an acute mental discernment and keen practical sense. What does acute mean? Well, acute means sharp, focused. If your understanding is acute, then you can form sound opinions. What does sound and opinion have to do with each other? <laughs> What's it so funny? Oh, I'm not laughing at you, Treshawn. It's just, you're like a child learning for the first time. So I come to you for help and now you're disrespecting me? Treshawn, I, I would never disrespect you. Well, that's what you're doing, and I ain't no child. I'm a grown man. Wait, I, I, let me explain. There's nothing to explain. I'm sorry. I thought you wanted help. Get out of my way. Or what? You're going to disrespect me? You started. Treshawn, this is not elementary school. You the one who said I was acting like a child. Yes, like a child who is excited about learning. Your response made me happy. So you saying you wasn't disrespecting me? Honey, I wouldn't waste time trying to disrespect anybody. Don't leave yet. This could be an amazing opportunity for you. You're not used to people being nice to you, are you? Curtis wanted me to meet with you. He believes that you're ready to change, to make a positive impact with your life. I do. But it's hard. Well, when you get your mind set right first, anything else, no matter how hard it is, becomes easier. Now, read. I'm not a good reader. <laughs> it, it's just like exercise. The, the more you do it, the stronger you become. What about your dreams? Don't you ever think about the future that's filled with possibilities? Possibilities. That's good. Keep going. Have you ever pictured in your mind the coming day's light? The day's light shines on your dreams. The light of recognition. The light of recognition. The light of realiz realization, the light of realization. What about your dreams? Do you choose not to dream to avoid the off chance that it might not come true? Are you afraid of broken promises? Is this what you do? Is it stupid to dream of a future when you're trying to make it through today when you're just trying to overcome the struggles you must for face with no dreams for tomorrow can you really survive something within you slowly dies with no joy in the morning will tonight draw you away what about your dreams? That wasn't so bad. So tell me, how or what does this poem say to you? I mean, I never really had any dreams. And at home, my mom's is always down to me. Go on. I don't know, I just feel like the author is talking to me. This is like my life. Just every day on the streets, just trying to survive. And so, what about your dreams now? I think I may have one now. Maybe. What changed? 
How did you go from just trying to survive to having a dream? Curtis. Where's your footage from dance camp? You don't want to see that. Yes, I do. No, your videos are just- Stop stalling. We don't got all day. Beautiful, Kelly. Wonderful extension. Excellent height. Placement and landing are exquisite. Class, you need to pay attention to Kelly. That's enough of that. Why? That was amazing. I know. It's a problem. Why are you putting yourself down like that? I love dancing. And I work hard at it. But when teachers keep telling students to watch me... You feel like you'll mess up. And what if you do? Well, you heard my teacher. I'm wonderful. Exquisite. Marvelous. Well, she didn't say marvelous. Got something smart to say. Hey, we can't all be perfect. That's what I mean. Right? It's like people that just they expect me to be. It's like I'm on this pedestal. And I didn't ask to be there. So then quit. What? If you can't handle the pressure, then quit. How can you even say that? You know I love ballet. Yeah, but why do you love it? Because... I'm free when I'm dancing. It's like... It's like this neighborhood and... this environment. It's like nothing can touch me. And when I look at myself in those mirrors... Princess. I can't believe I'm telling you this. You must think I'm so dumb. I used to wrap a towel around my neck and pretend to be a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Dance because you love it, or else you'll start hating it. And don't try to be flawless. Only God is perfect. How'd you get so smart? My dad used to tell me, do your best so the miraculous could happen. I'm just telling you what I think he would say. The whole summer goes by, we barely even see you. I told you, Hakeem, I was busy. Busy? What, you think now you're better than us? I didn't say that. You don't have to. We know about your tutor and all that. So you try to act white and go to college? College ain't for black people. And now you are hanging out with the kid you used to beat up. Now you're disrespecting us. 
It's not like that. And why is trying to be smarter acting white? The only thing we need to know about is how to run the streets. And we have to keep watching our backs too. That's the way it is out there. You think acting white is going to get you out of that? Yo, I'm not acting white. Now what you trying to do, huh? You know what's messed up? I gave up on school because I can hardly read, but then I found out I'm not dumb. I'm dyslexic. And if it wasn't for Curtis, I would go my whole life thinking I was stupid. Now I'm fighting to be somebody other than the guy who gets locked up, like my father. Yeah, I've been hiding from you, but you know me. I fight for you in a second. But now I'm fighting for me. If you want to go where I'm going, then come on. If not, respect that. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I just want better. Handle your business then. Treshawn, bring me a soda. Treshawn, I know you hear me, boy. Thank you for that, Miss T. And we got to come up the break. Do you right back? Yeah, ma. Treshawn, I know you heard me. What you doing back there? Homework. Homework? You don't do no homework. I do now. Since when? Since I got a tutor. A tutor? I've got dyslexia, ma. That better not be contagious. It's not contagious, Ma. It's a learning disability. <laughs> See? I knew you was dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I was never dumb. It just means that I learn differently than most. Why am I explaining myself to you? That's right, because I don't want to hear this anyway. Just bring me a soda. If you care more about your stupid soda than me, get it yourself. What did you just say? A friend's been tutoring me, Ma. This again? You ain't got no friends smart enough to tutor you. I do now, Ma. Why are you tripping? Excuse me. Look at you. What, you trying to man up now, make something different of your life, huh? I am a man. Watch your mouth. Who you talking to? I'm not one of your little friends. I am your mother. Then act like a real mother and stop talking to me like I'm stupid. You. Ain't gonna never be nothing but like your no good daddy, and I ain't gonna be nothing but your sorry mama collecting a welfare check. No, that's just it. You ain't gotta be that. You can change. You can choose your path, and you can walk down it every day. And who are you to be telling me what to do? <laughs> this is my time to talk, my You listen. I used to think I was dumb because I could barely read, and you never even cared enough to help me. And on top of that, I got your stinking voice in my head telling me I'm gonna be like the man who don't even want me. You keep saying I'm gonna be like the man who broke your heart and stole your dreams, but I'm not him. Look at me, Ma. Look at me. Oh, no! I'm not letting go until no. you look at me. What? I used to wish I was dead. Dead. I used to be afraid. I used to wish I was dead just so I could get back at you for all the things you ever did to me. I hated you. I hated my life. But I don't anymore. I'm your son, Ma. Your son. I didn't ask to be here, but I am. Part you, part dad, but all me. I can't change who I am, but I can change who I become. Just get me my soda. If Dad stole your dream, take it back. We'll get a new one. But don't blame me, because you're too afraid to try. Let's get my soda.
what you mean we finished? Just like I said, we are finished. So you just gonna leave me? Just like that, Shakira? No, you are gonna take your junk and leave. Okay, if I leave, who gonna pay your bills? You ain't got no job. Just give me my keys and get out! Are you crazy? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, okay. Bring it on, little treacherous. Come on. Woo! Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you little. Try again. What you got? Uh -huh. Melvin, stop! I got this. We can choose, remember? Isn't this sweet? A mother and son reunion. Melvin, just give me my keys and get out now. Or what? Or the cops are gonna arrest you for domestic violence. Yeah, that's right. I called them just before you got here. Right after you cursed me out on the phone. Help is on the way. Okay, hold on, baby. Let's um let's talk about this, okay? Cause you know, I don't wanna go back to jail. Oh. So now you want to talk, huh? Okay, let's talk. Give me my keys, get your junk and leave, then uh, maybe I won't think about pressing charges. NYPD! Alright, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Okay, I'll leave my son and your son. Forever. You got my word, all right? Forever. NYPD. Ma'am, I'm Officer Williams. This is Officer Brown. There's been a call about a domestic disturbance. Yeah, I made the call. So would you like to press charges? Melvin. Well. Officers, this is the man who beat me and my son. Now, he promised that he would leave us alone, so I don't think I'll be pressing charges. I recommend you fill out a report for future use if necessary. You mean like if he decides to break his promise and come back around here again? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Um, what do you think, Melvin? Hmm? Whatever you want to do, Shakira. Whatever I want to do? Oh, so it's whatever I want to do, huh? <laughs> do it, ma. Press the charges. Officers, this is my son, Trey Sean. And um, he's gonna be somebody someday. <laughs> you watch and see. That's nice, man. So what do you want to do? Yeah, let's file that report. Okay, step outside and keep your hands where I can see them. a little bit bulky, don't you think? Remember, this suit was cobbled together. Thank God for duct tape. Right. The next one will be more streamlined, bro. All right? Hmm. All right, gentlemen. Let's make history. All right. Camera's rolling. Say, we're going to test the prototype of the speed suit. I'm going to run in the KRBs, and activate the vortex thrust pad. Now we need to go fast. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, go! Ten miles! Twenty miles! Okay, you're holding that 30 mile power! This is amazing! Yeah, Curtis! Vortex in three, two, one. 35! 45! <laughs> They're holding at 50 pounds per hour! Whoa! Ah! Curtis!
Curtis Powers? Oh! Curtis! Oh my god! Uh, Are my, you okay? uh, take it easy. That hurts. You're lucky you can still talk. Now tell me what happened. Ma, it's not as bad as it looks. He just has a concussion and a few fractures. The doctor said he'd be back in the Omar, I'm months. asking your brother. I'm not talking to you. I'll deal with you in a minute. What happened? Uh, we were testing out the boots. I thought you tested those already. <clears throat> what were you trying to do? Jump to the moon? Uh, we added a jet for more speed. A jet? Oh, God. Jesus, a jet. Well, now you're trying to fly. Baby, you are not a superhero. I wasn't trying to fly. Uh... One of the boots broke while I was running. Do you know it's only by the grace of God that you're still alive? I know. Do you? I'm looking. <laughs> if I don't laugh, I'll go insane. You two. You have the same bold spirit as your father. Just how fast were you running? 50 miles per hour. 50 miles an hour? As in five zero? Is that even possible? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> you know what? You two, come here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Miranda, I am so sorry. No need to apologize, Jim. I know it wasn't intentional. Malcolm is always telling me not to stifle Curtis's creativity, but an accident like this has never happened before. What if the jet would have exploded? Curtis didn't want anything flammable. The jet is electric. Well, that's a little bit better. I, I know you guys were working on the boots and the vest, but I didn't know about all this. We wanted to surprise you, Ma, and Curtis didn't want to worry you. We tried everything we could to make this as safe as possible. I know, but you cannot plan for everything, Omar. Unexpected things happen all the time. Listen, okay? If you know it, I know it. If you can agree to that, then this little adventure can continue. But if you can't, I'm gonna pull a mama card and this ends today. You will be fully informed. This thing must be pretty significant if Curtis has got all three of you wrapped up in it. It's more than that. We're making history. Mm-hmm. Just don't let me have to make you two history. T-G-I-F. I thought I heard you come in. Oh, hey. What's up, bro? I didn't even know you were here. I was in the room, filling out some paperwork. Shipping orders came in this morning. I leave in two months. I don't want you to go. I know how you feel, bro, but duty calls. Who's gonna help me with my experiments? You got Mr. G, Trey Sean, and Kelly. Don't worry, we still got our routine. And imagine how much more I'm gonna learn when I go back. Feel like setting a world record? It might get you into the next Olympics. Why didn't I think of that? And we got about a month to do it. I'm Katie Torrey from the News Channel, standing on a closed street in the Bronx. The team behind me is preparing to set a world record for the fastest running man. Good morning, New York. Did you hear about the 15-year-old boy who set a world record this weekend? He was wearing some kind of high-tech speed suit. Oh, we have a caller. Caller, you're on the air. Well, I think it's a hoax. Ain't no one person can run that fast. So have you seen the video? I mean, it's all over the internet. 
Almost 1 million views in two days? Curtis, we got you at 69 miles per hour. Yes, it's official, 69 miles per hour. Curtis, you just set a world record. Curtis, you set a world record. What makes this world record attempt so interesting is that here, science fiction and reality meet. And they have formally named their creation the Mach 1 Speed Suit. Well, by Monday, Curtis Powers will be a household name. Mm -hmm. I realized by third period it would be impossible for you all to focus on your classwork. I spent the better half of the morning fielding questions from the media. As you already know, three students and one of our physics teachers have made history by setting the record for the world's fastest running man. And by doing this, they have helped put our school and our district on the map for something that's incredibly positive, uplifting, and innovative. Who says nothing good can come out of the Bronx? Now I've called this assembly so that we can hear their amazing story. We're all running from something. But if we can face our fears, then the very thing that was meant to destroy us could lead to our greatest opportunity. And then we would find that it's not only about us achieving, but it's about us helping those around us imagine the possibilities. Mom was right. God's got plans for us way beyond what we can see. And there's only one way to find out what that future holds. We have to run into it. Curtis! you 
everybody losing Who are we running from? And where are we running to? If we do nothing different Then nothing changes for me and you If we stand for our dreams And push through face to Everybody